Hello, and welcome to Hoyt's Points. This is the unedited video of my talk with Putter My Pancakes about working the hold rooms in the hallways map. If you got to this video first somehow and would like an edited version of this talk that's half as long, follow the link in the description. The only edits I did were to take my microphone punches out of the audio track so I could normalize it correctly, but other than that, all the warts and pimples are all right here. I'm not sure why you are here, but I'm all about giving the people what they want. Enjoy, I guess. Hi everyone, we're here with uh, Putter My Band Cakes. How are you doing today, Putter? I'm doing phenomenal. Slightly above average, but uh, grinding, and uh, yeah, no, I, I guess I can feel, I feel pretty good. Good. Um, Very good. So my first question that I ask everyone that I talk to, how many hours do you have in H3 VR? So I have 1,462 hours in H3. Wow, it, the number just keeps getting bigger with everyone I talk to. <laughs> I don't know if I have, I, I still don't know if I'm the person with the most hours, probably not. I'm pretty certain there's some people who've done the endless leaderboards that have more hours than me. Yeah, but maybe. I have no clue, but uh, yeah, I have, I have quite a bit of hours. Um, now, to pan it out properly, I'd say probably about one, like 950 of those hours are strictly taken hold. Yeah. A good 100 hours is like just sandbox sticking around and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the hours, which is like about 300 hours, is just filming stuff for the highlights I, and other I feel videos. That. I feel that <laughs> getting getting things positioned in this game and and then recording is uh, a fun fun little weird thing to do. Oh, especially if you can't save everything. Well, you can you can save, but you can't save taken hold scenarios. Yeah. So that kind of is a little sad. So it's like so once you spend like an hour or two setting up everything, it's like okay, now I have to spend another hour or two gathering so many footage doing a bunch of retakes as much as i can yeah and then i have to remind myself oh, okay that's i guess i hope i didn't forget to do anything or i messed up any of my shots yeah. so then i yeah because if i leave that's it i have to mm -hmm. come back and do it all again if i want to get another reshoot yeah that's happened too many times by the way <laughs> but, yeah I've, I've been doing like little one minute skits and it's it's a task. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> I know that. I know the struggle with that, but it's a good struggle. All right, so we're starting off on our tier list. So unlike the other videos, uh, the tier list is just vibes based, but we're we're trying to be educational with this one. Uh, right. So we're here in purple room. Right. Um, okay. So. Putter, where do you like to hold in Purple Room? So we actually talked about this a little bit before, or you mentioned this, is the clockwork. Mm -hmm. So in that corner where the lowest door, the lowest single door is, right there, yep. as you can see, that I usually like to hold out right there. Yep. Kill the Sosig that spawns there. Bop, bop. And, and then kill the Sosig that spawns to the left, right there. And then kill the Sosig that spawns from Blue Hallway. Yeah, I think... And it, this is yeah. this is the introduction of uh, the concept of clock working in this video, which yes. is you go bam, 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 and then you're back to start, and you just do that over and over until the encryption spawn. And, and you can do that to essentially because of the way that, that the waves spawn in. Mm -hmm. So the SOSIG will reach that single door first, yep. and then it'll reach that double door that's closest to you on the first floor. Yep, and then the third one will reach that blue hallway in perfect time if you kill them all. And yeah. it, it's, well, I wouldn't even say that fast. It's pretty, this room is very, very, very like soft on that. Like you honestly could take a minute to fumble around. Yeah. And, and I think the other, clockwork. the other viable place to stand, which if you're doing clockworks, maybe you end up here to clear your encryptions. It's actually yep. here. You go, bam, yeah. you go, bam. You go bam. If you have the confidence or a weapon that you feel can absolutely laser everything before they even, like right when they come in, like yeah. if you rely, if you have, if you can rely on your aim 
or weapon that much, you can essentially just sit up there the entire hold with no repercussions as long as you hit your shots. Yeah, because you are a bit more exposed, and if you drop down, now you're way exposed. I will be careful with the blue hallway, because if you're playing this mode in one hit, and you're sitting right there, sometimes the Sosigs will run past that little... Here, if you... Yeah, if you go sit back over yeah. in that corner... Oh, no. <laughs> that's a little tricky. Down. I get that. Uh, but yeah, so if you sit in that little corner, and you're playing one hit or something, sometimes the Sosigs can see you. Yeah, you see that little, yeah. sliver? little sliver? Sometimes they'll see... See you hide behind that cover behind there and pixel mm -hmm. snipe you. Because you can if you get, mess up. You can get cover right here that they'll rush to. So you really need to like as soon as you see them, you need to execute. Oh yes, because if you miss some of your shots or they ragdoll like back over there and then get back up, they mm -hmm. can sometimes pre-fire you. I mean this this goes with a lot of the rooms. Yeah. They can pre-fire you pre-fire you after seeing you through that pixel peak. I don't know. It's kind of. It's iffy, but just, yeah, do not miss but your shots there if you're playing one hit and sitting you're sitting here, at that spot. You do have the entire room yes. of an encryptions that you can see. You don't have to reposition. You can just instantly kill them. All right, course, now we have yeah. to talk about holding top. Okay, so... I, I think holding top's a bit of a trap. It, it's the most obvious place that people see in this room to hold, and I think it leads to a lot of problems. What do you think? I agree, and I see a lot of people hold this too. And it, I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting the high ground, but there's a multiple multitude of reasons why it's not the best. So, or it's it's just there. The, oh, those other two spots that you just showed off were, yeah. are like way better. The other two methods. Yeah. Um, for one, that you're gonna have a much like longer wave spawn in time. Mm -hmm. Essentially because you're not killing all the Sosigs as they come into the room. Yeah. You're going to kill maybe this guy, that one at the double door, maybe the blue hallway one. This way, and then you got to wait. you got to wait for that guy. And sometimes he can just... Maybe he'll accidentally run on a mag you dropped over there. Maybe he might just hear your shots and slowly peek it. Yeah. Because they do that. And that can lead to a lot of lost seconds for mm -hmm. killing Sosigs. Because essentially every hold... This this goes with any hold, by the way. Like, not just the location, but like just depending on which hold you're on, like one, two, or three, four, which round essentially. And there's always going to be a certain amount of Sosigs that spawn in, but you can make them spawn in faster if you kill the current wave that walks in. Like, if yep. you kill them as quick as possible, th there's like this weird bonus bit of code that accelerates the spawn rate of the next group of Sosigs, which then allow you to get more points because you're killing more Sosigs before, well, the encryption spawns. And this spot right here, just the fact that that screws that up a little bit already yeah. is not good. Mm -hmm. um, not considering the facts that Sosigs at the double door have cover yeah. against you. Like, it's kind and of a tricky spot. they spawn both looking at you. Yeah, like, they with have... With sight line, straight Exactly. At you. You have multiple sight lines that are on you. If you're playing one hit, that's like a nightmare sequence, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you're... say you have to you have to reposition. You do get overwhelmed. What what's your play? Drop down in the corner, like yeah. drop down the hole. That's that's not good. You'll drop down on the hole, possibly have the sosigs above you still, and have to deal with the sosigs that are hiding behind this. I don't know. It's a bit of a mind screwing. Yeah. Area. I don't. I don't know. I, so it's just yeah. I wouldn't recommend that spot i see a lot of people do it i see i see even jedi do it yeah i mean jedi holds it well yeah but i mean if you're fast enough it's okay but you are yeah. just losing score by default yes exactly and i mean if you if that's the way you want to play it then go ahead uh, no one's gonna stop you yeah but if you do want to get the best score i would not recommend practicing that for purple room let's say we're not going for score and we're like a new player who's you know, trying to get through their first win, or someone who's trying to survive one shot for the first time. Hardcore health. Is there a spot that you think is sur more survivable than others that's not necessarily a score spot, but... Yes. Uh, I'd say even that clockwork one. 
the clockwork, the clockwork one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, because this is, it's this is how I run the room too. Yeah, especially in one hit, it's so easy to manage, especially mm -hmm. when it's fifth hold or fourth hold, like the where the yeah on the second round where the Sosig start spawning in very quick. Yep. Um, it's very easy to manage. It's literally like counting, honestly. It's like yep. one, two, three, and then you one, go two, back three. to the spot, reload. One, two, three, go back to the spot, reload. Same thing. It's not the best for encryptions because you can't have a full sight of the no, room. You kind of have to like, if it's like speed meet, you have to like kill and then encryption and then kill and kill encryption and... and then kill and encryption. It's not the fastest. So you might, if if you're doing like in uh, stealth, maybe you go yeah. here to clear but yeah exactly i mean maybe at the last second when you know it's in mm -hmm. the general time that's going to spawn in because as we know recently anton confirmed that the encryptions have a a different is has like a 15 second span yeah to spawn in mm -hmm. when it's initially supposed to mm -hmm. so it's just yeah honestly if you can time it right you could probably get to that spot before yeah. but once again this is a new player and mm -hmm. i feel like a new player wouldn't like really know how to rotate that easily well, i that, mean as a that's why they're watching my video that's a good point <laughs> so, yeah. but yeah so maybe you guys can practice like doing that clockwork technique where you're killing those three those three yeah wait yeah those three so sigs depending on if i mean that's on the high rounds if it's three so sigs on the high rounds but it's usually like two on the first two and three sometimes yeah yeah so you just yeah but on, on high rounds probably the best way to uh to do it as a new player is to do that clockwork technique at least until you feel super comfortable with the room i mean if you're doing one hit two i mean i don't know maybe you can practice for score once again yeah. uh, uh, never mind never mind this is not for i mean score, the faster yeah. you go the safer you tend to be exactly yeah that's how i feel about take and hold like the the worse you are, the more dangerous it is. And I know that's like, duh. Like, of course, if you're worse at the game. But the the quicker you go, the less chance they have to even shoot back at you. Exactly. Yes. Um, so where would you rate Purple Room on a tier list? So Purple Room, honestly, is all around a great room. I like really that. like Purple. Yeah, so six don't really ever get stuck, which is nice. That's... That's the one main factor that I think about when I look at these rooms. Mm -hmm. The encryptions are very relatively good in this. Like, you can always have an open view of the whole room. You could see the whole room just by sitting in one corner and, and see where all the encryptions spawn. I like that it rewards really technical, precise play. Exactly, yes. I, I, I agree with that, too, that this is a really well-designed room. Honestly, yeah, I think this is... Is this you know, A tier? Or is, I'd, are we starting out with, with an S? I'd say that this is A tier. Okay. We're leaving yeah. room at the top. Yes. Because honestly, I mean, the the problem with this room for score is that it doesn't have the insane scoring technique that another room has, which we'll get into later. Um, but we'll, uh, yeah, I'd say that we should put this on A because honestly if it had that thing that, that other room that I'm talking about has, mm -hmm. which people who are watching will un know what that is. Spoilers, I'll, I'll call back spoilers. to it once we get there. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> um, yeah, if it had that, oh my god, it would be an S tier. But yeah, well, um, honestly, I'd say it's just a good A tier. There's no room for error, error here. I, I also, I, I dragged it in there, by the way. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, okay. I've never done this, but uh, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Um, so we're moving on to our second room here. Big mm, Red, the killer of dreams, red. the killer of players. Memes. Oh, huh. I thought you were going to do a <laughs> rhyme there. Too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big so red. this room. Yes, this room, honestly, it's, it's kind of crazy. There's so many different ways that you can do this one. Mm -hmm. It's the largest room in classic hallways. Uh, I wouldn't... Yeah, I'd say it's the largest room. I was going to yep. say blue hallways might be longer, it's but... Got oh, no, it's got five different entrances, it's which got is five also, different I think, entrances. the highest. Yeah, so most entrances. Um, encryption spawns could be brutal as hell. I know mm -hmm. from experience. 
Yep. I, I play on this room almost every day. That, that I one play that goes home. like over there by the ladder. Oof, I hate it every time. Oh, it's the worst when it's a recursive mm -hmm. and they split apart and yeah. one's on the opposite side and one's on the other. Like, it's just, yeah, there's so many. The, the problem with this room is that there is so much room for things yep. to go wrong. Mm -hmm. And that is, honestly, I hate to say it, but this room's like sort of RNG, especially for encryption mm -hmm. spawns, which is kind of crazy to think about. I, I honestly can never like feel that it's my skill that really determines the fate of this room when it comes to scoring at least yeah. survivability yeah there's a lot of skill for surviving and getting a relatively good encryption score but sometimes it comes down to where the encryption spawns yeah if for... you're running high score like leaderboard stuff this is the this... room that your your run always dies in yeah it, yeah i agree this room right here is a nightmare for yeah. leaderboard runners because and there's a lot of so yeah. six can get lost over there and they can get lost in there yeah and the other crazy thing too is that this room i believe is only for hold three and hold five if i'm correct here i'm just checking the i have the seed hold, yeah. hold order location here on standby yeah room yeah red room is only popped in two times in two of the seeds oh no no three of the seeds but there's only one three hold or third hold and then there's two for fifth hold yep so the only time that you're going to be facing this room is on the third hold where you're going to have to deal with hardens um swarms which aren't swarms aren't bad nor the hardens but the recursives the recursives yeah. are the scary things for third hold mm -hmm. um <laughs> freaking so uh, to new players or people who don't know recursives are the uh are the encryptions that have a blue core and have these red studs that you have to shoot on the outer parts of the encryption that stick out. And if you hit the blue, it'll spawn more of the red studs. And you cannot destroy those recursive encryptions until you destroy all the red studs that are on the yeah. blue core. And, and you could see how that could be hard depending on what weapon you have. Yeah. Where one spawns. Or if it's if it's the one over there and you've chosen to stand here because you got one there, and then you got one of the red nodes on the other side of the blue, you have yeah. to do like the walk of shame like all the way over. Exactly. And like, Bam. The worst part is is that it, of course when you shoot, I know this isn't an encryption tier list or anything, but the worst part is is that if you shoot a recursive encryption sometimes it could either be good or bad depending on which way you're shooting like mm -hmm. it, when you shoot the red studs depending on the caliber the encryption will actually rotate more and that could be a good or a bad thing yeah especially in this room like sometimes you can make the red studs go towards you but mm -hmm. sometimes you could push it to the opposite side and you cannot visibly see it unless if you go all the way around you have to walk across the room go all the way around and then destroy it and that's yeah that is so messed up so Very painful so how do you I work red room how do i work red room so this one is actually one of the rooms it depends mm -hmm. greatly this this one i have multiple ways of doing this one and i use all of those ways funny enough which is i can't say i do that for the other rooms this room is the only room that i have to use multiple different old locations on it's pretty open to interpretation it is yeah. So and I think so, the main one, like when you're just clearing SOSIGs and not getting ready for encryptions, I think most people stand right here. Yes, correct. On on standard, so I'm going to say like right off the bat on standard health, like I would be standing in that exact spot that you're standing in. Yep, you got and a pretty good line on all of the entrances, and then you just kind of get that guy. Yes, and depending on where the encryption spawns, Sometimes, like when I know where, where they're going to spawn in, when I see the clouds pop in, mm -hmm. I hop over to that other area yeah. um, over there and I prepare and I just hold out there. And it's not too bad. You, your back is going to be exposed a little bit. But mm -hmm. honestly, this is, this is a good spot if you're going for score, if you're standard health. Honestly, you have to be very mindful. It, uh, this is like a risky spot, I'd say. Yeah. It's but, it's not as nice as the other one, but 
what you're trying to do is line up your encryption so you have to move as little as possible to acquire the next one and yeah. if they line up good for like shooting them here rather than over there come over here yeah and typically those two good those two spots are cover all the encryption lineups funny enough in that room mm -hmm. Um, sometimes you could go a little crazy and go off on one of the ledges there and sit is by this that light. third spot here yes I which... will say one it's easy to fall off yes and number two if you stand <laughs> too close under this light and you try and go full auto then you get some like cloud problems where you can't like see through your Fortunately, like, with exhaust the... Yeah, fortunately the AK-12 doesn't have that problem, but yeah. mostly all the other guns, though. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah that you can really blind yourself if you're you just standing blind a yourself. little too far over here under this light. Same with uh, aiming down a reticle. Sometimes the reticle will be just absolutely mm -hmm. obscured by that light, like yeah. just completely glared, which yeah. is terrible. So you have to be careful there. But yeah, those are the three spots that I typically hold. Mm -hmm. You might, I might rarely be in a different spot, but that's so rare and is very situational. I mm -hmm. can't really say where I usually am, but sometimes above that green door right in front of you. Really? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sometimes I, I go the up there. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I made it. Nice. Good jump. But yeah, sometimes I sit up here because sometimes the swarm lines up really well right here, or the recursive. Like sometimes the recursive's right next to each other, right mm -hmm. here, like in your face. And yeah, you there, sometimes you get a nice one that's like right there and right here. Exactly, and honestly, it's very situational uh, where I stand in this room all the time. I can tell you, every time that I play this room, I, I played Lewis for like 80 hours. <laughs> for the past. I'm not kidding, I, that's all on my stream record. That I, I added up all the hours, I've been editing the footage. It's freaking 80 hours of Lewis, and I've had to run into this room every run. <laughs> for that those 80 hours so yep. i've been every time it's been different i've always been in a different spot because yeah but um, um s s but for one hit one hit is a different story it, so if you're a new player trying to get through your first run or you're running one hit or yeah you're trying that to too. survive where do you stand so funny enough it's that spot right behind the ladder there yep this so is, this is my spot too. So you mentioned the last in the last hold, clock working. Mm -hmm. There is kind of a clockwork here that you yep. can do. It's very hard, but it 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 can be done because the problem with this room, like you said earlier, is that the sosix can sometimes spawn and take like in weird spots and take a long time to yeah. make their way in the entrances they can depending kind of get on stuck where you here and then go here yeah. and then they turn around and then oh no this way maybe exactly oh. so but i think the clockwork if everything's going well and they don't get lost you kill this guy bam bam yeah. you kill this guy bam bam and yes. then you just cut the pie around this corner and wait and for that third one. Usually there's like a guy here, or maybe he's like going for the ladder there. Or, or maybe he's, he's right above here you. And he's right there. Yeah. They usually don't come up here, so you don't it's usually rare. need yeah. to worry about one dropping on your head. But yeah, it's just bam, bam, and then cut the pie here. Yeah, exactly. That's honestly what I do um, for one hits. Yep. Especially um, like a one hit in a tournament where you're just trying to live through it. Like, yeah. Yeah, you just boom. And you're like, oh, I really it's, have to survive Red Room on a one hit. Like, Ugh. yes. Yeah. It's not exactly the best for score, but if it's perfect for survivability, yeah. especially in this room. This is, I believe, a lot of people rate this like one of the hardest rooms. Mm hmm possible in the game honestly it's the most difficult to, uh, difficult rooms in classic hallways yeah um yeah a lot of people aren't happy when we put these in the seeds yeah uh that for our first to worst everyone always hates this one this one's the worst one and whenever i'm watching footage of people play they always are just dreading this room yep you can so, see them start to like sh their guns start shaking when they, yeah, they live in this room <laughs> they, they start quivering yeah exactly <laughs> 
No, this this room is hated by so many people. Now you can it, hold one hit up here, but you have to you be can. lightning fast. You have to be lightning fast. You have to know where the you have to hear and listen for mm -hmm. or be very perceptive to yeah. all the sosigs that are spawning. Mm -hmm. um, you want to make sure that you you're counting as well, and you're aware of which wave it is. And yeah. that can also go for the clockwork too. It used typically only three sosig spawn on most of the waves in different entrances. Um, of course, there's some where four spawn in, mm -hmm. um, split in two and two separate entrances, but that's a whole different story. Um, but essentially, you're counting. You want to, as you kill sosigs, make sure you count how many there are yep. that you're killing. So if you kill three in a relatively quick session yep then you, you, know you essentially wiped out a wave yeah you cleared the wave so one at a time yeah of course you're going to be picking them off and honestly as long as you can do that as long as you're aware of what wave it is which can be hard in this room because once again they can get stuck they can get stuck on that little green hallway to your right there yep. to the uh that top mezzanine and especially there. since the ai change they can get stuck on this stupid ladder for yes. so long Yes. So sometimes that can mess you up. And then you just have one trickle in whenever. Yeah. So it's 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 kind of a scary thing and that that's actually the worst thing because sometimes if you're sitting up there mm -hmm. you can kill two and then not see the third one. Yeah. And then the third one will come in with the next wave. Yeah. So then you'll like, have to force you, those six. You kill two and you're like, "Okay, I don't know where the third one is." And then you just like kind of peeks around that corner. And it's yeah. got a shot on you. Yeah, it's it's sketchy. This room is just there's so many once again, yeah, there's a lot of things that can go wrong in this room. But if you hold out that one spot in that corner, that's honestly your best bet. If you're new, if you're wanting to just try and get through this room and survive, don't yep. worry about the encryptions. Especially the agiles. Agiles, let them slow down. Yep. Since this is mainly a hold five room, let them slow down. Focus on the Sosigs, and then take out the Agiles if you're not playing for score and you're just yeah. trying to survive um, when they're super slow. Yeah. Not if even you are moving. playing for score, get a Shield Dog, get a Ghost Dog, then yeah. come out from here. Exactly. I 100% agree with that. Yeah, that's honestly the only way that I could see myself getting a high score in this room, honestly, is just by using a Shield Dog on the final hold mm -hmm. on one hit. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's no fun. This room is not fun. How do you? Where would you put it on the tier list? Um. So, the thing is, is that I know a lot of people hate this room, and the thing is, is that I like that it's hated. <laughs> I, I, I because it it's a challenge. It's like probably like one of the most challenging rooms. I honestly don't. I don't think it should be an F or a D. But mm -hmm. I do think that it should maybe be a C. Okay. I don't know. I mean, we honestly... We respect Red Room. We respect Red Room for what it is, but I don't know. What do you What do you think? Is this based off of just vibe? Yeah, vibe only? Vibes like, only? I don't like yeah. that you can lose score when the Sosigs get lost in the hallways. Exactly. Yeah, but actually. I, you know I do kind of like that it's one of the bigger rooms and it really opens up, like, having to aim having yes. good position you know yes i like what this room does to you but i once again all the all the above of what i hate about it is just i, I don't know i don't know if i really like it or i just downright absolutely hate like why it's difficult but honestly i'd say maybe a c I, yeah i'd put it as c I, yeah. i'm honestly considering a d but honestly just the way that this room is meant to be to just f with you <laughs> yeah I, i'd say it's probably respect c yeah okay so we are in blue hallway okay so this room the longest um, sight line in the whole thing at a whole 25 meters length to length so get, so, a, get your scope out boys and girls for the record for people who aren't aware on how large this room is so that door 
that doorway that leads into the red room is usually where that little laser wall pops in mm-hmm. to enclose the player inside the hold thing. Yep. I believe it's right past that door. Yep. Yeah, from those two little barricades there. But that doesn't matter because the sight line is still a threat. Yeah. So, so they come around that corner there. So they can spawn there. They can't spawn on that left supply room, can they? Yeah, I, they I, can. Yeah, they can. Okay, yeah. I, I thought it was crazy for a second, but yeah. You got four yeah, they could spawn there. You got one there, there, here. Yep. And then all the way down. Yes. Which takes forever. For yeah. To climb this ladder. It. That's a good point. Yeah, that, that sometimes can happen. So, so how do you hold this room? I'm gonna be honest. If I'm, ugh, crap. It's kind of strange, because, honestly, I couldn't really, for standard health, honestly, I'm just holding out exactly where you are. I'm just trying yeah. to get the guys in the sight lane first, and then deal with the guys coming from purple. Yeah, you kind of um, go like, bam, 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 I think is the order they usually come out in, but there's yeah. like a lot of cover in the way. You kind of have to get your move on here kind of or destroy the cover that's yeah i'm a fan of destroying cover to that's get a, a better sideline but if you're like a new player honestly i'd have to say that back corner is probably the best bet you may not be killing the sosigs as quick as possible mm-hmm. but at least you can manage that one right behind you you can hear it when it comes up yeah. honestly you don't even have to be peeking right there surprise you yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, you don't even have to be peeking right there. You could just be dead ass just sitting in that back corner waiting for that guy to pop up. If he doesn't, that probably means that the third one or yeah. the they, that they all spawn down the hallway. You check the hallway and then light them up. And then just keep on doing that over and over again until the encryption spawns. Yeah. And this does mean that you have to shoot this incredibly long sight line. Yes. But you, can you, could, also, you, can you could also just wait for them to push up to you as yeah, well if you're you sitting in that back sit corner here and then once again this it's guy not... if he's here and then just kind of like Mer, like work this yeah. corner cut the pie here maybe you could peek it for a few seconds and if you don't feel like it's a comfortable sight line you could just wait for them to come up and not yep. peek again just kill once again it's like not here. yeah it's not really the best for score i'm gonna be very honest if mm-hmm. you sit right here because maybe what you have to be... do is you have to fight through them and then clear encryptions yeah, and the encryptions, the, the encryptions usually spawn all in down that hallway. And sometimes they could spawn in that back corner that you're sitting in, yeah. too. There's the, usually one right here. Oh, and the stealth, yeah. The stealths, honestly, are the worst so, for this hold. In yeah. order to see all of them, you need to sit here. But that's not a smart idea. There is zero cover, and you might have to have to kill, like, three simultaneously appearing sosigs down there. Yeah, it's just it's pretty bad Uh, yeah honestly this room is a little tricky it's not bad it's relatively nice because honestly you can rel you could safely tunnel vision down this hallway (laughs) yeah essentially yeah and then your ears open you you. hear this guy when he starts finally getting to the top of the ladder you can't be snuck up on yeah, and I mean, for a lot of the encryptions, too, if they're, like, hardens or something like that. Actually, here, let me check something. Checking the seed holder, hold order location to see. Yeah, most of these, yeah, blue hallways available or only hold one. Um, wow, it's only available for hold one and hold four, and that's it. Yep. Wow. That's actually crazy to think about. I didn't realize that's how rare that room is. Um, so yeah, hold so, one's going to be pretty painful if you're trying to sightline down this with a pistol. Yeah, if you have a pistol, this room could be a pain in the butt. But if you have a shotgun, sometimes the, the swarms or the, the static encryptions can line up very well in your yeah. favor. And you can essentially destroy three in one shot if you if you have the right ammo. Yeah. Or it's the right spread of where they are. Or you can, yeah, honestly, you could just sit in this corner for hold one and just absolutely annihilate the encryptions just by sitting there. I mean, if you're not playing one hit, it's not a bad spot. Yeah, it's a great spot to sit at for hold one. Yeah. 
Um, so, I, honestly, it's a good room for hold one. I'm, I'm going to say that. I mean, it's it's a little tricky. The problem is, is that there is some room for error if you have a pistol. You can pistol. I mean, even a bolt action sometimes. A bolt action, you can miss your shot, and then you have to cock it and then readjust. And mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just sometimes it's not the most ideal room it's not bad i I, that's the thing i'm considering this when i have a shotgun when i have a shotgun this room's pretty nice for old one but for a pistol and bull action it's a little rough yeah but it can definitely it's really good for yeah it's it's not yeah it's not a bad one of the nice things is for when it's hold four and you got a nice weapon the sosig that comes out of here and the sosig that comes out of here they have zero cover they're just like yeeting themselves into the middle of the hallway and you just can just eating just run it yeah it's it's terrible <laughs> it's terrible for them it's like okay yeah this guy honestly, can rush into cover but but those, those guys, guys in the back. those guys get get the gat yeah they get the gat and honestly yeah it's that room yeah they, yeah for hold four honestly the sosigs aren't really too bad i feel it's like mm-hmm. Once again, a lot of them kind of line up down that hallway, so they become easy targets. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, sometimes they spawn in that one corner. Uh, honestly, it's kind of crazy. It's a bonus if all three spawn in this area, mm-hmm. because it's just one quick peek, one spray, and probably you can kill them all. Yeah. Um, the armored guy, if if he spawns down here and you don't have AP ammo, you have to shoot him a whole bunch because the. Your ability to hit his weak spots may be not great. Right. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree with that. So it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's it's an interesting room. It's not it's not a bad room. It's not a good room. I mean, for for being a one co- big hallway, it's it's kind of interesting the dynamic it. it has. Yeah. It's not as bad. At, it's nowhere near as bad as Red Room. Um, I'll, I'll I mean honestly. I don't know. I don't really know how to what I would rate this room. Are we even at that point yet? Uh, uh, I think we are. Yeah, because th- there's not really too many strategies in this room since no, it's just it's kinda... a straight hallway. Yeah. Um, um, I don't really. Yeah, and then I stand different. I, I I guess depending on where the encryption spawn, if depending on if I'm one hit or standard, I would stand in like relatively interesting spots, but only depending on where the encryptions are lined up. So that's kind of all random too. Yeah. I'm mean, gonna be honest. I can be all over the room for standard. For one hit, I usually play it safe and sit in that corner. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That's usually what I do. But um, where I would have to. S- where would I put it? Mm, I would have to say. I think blue call blue hallways main crime is just being a little bit boring. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. I was gonna say I was gonna give it a B, but I kind of was thinking about how it's bore, essentially boring yeah. in a way. Um, honestly, I, I would probably have to. It's weird to say this because red, red also ha, red just has a lot of problems. But the thing is about it is that it has a good vibe. Yeah, it's not <laughs> boring. essentially, it's not boring. It's it's constantly making you engage. Mm-hmm. Um, blue hallway doesn't really it doesn't essentially really do that it's just looking down two angles and that's it yep um sure you might be running around a lot but yeah uh, honestly i would have to give this maybe it's weird i wouldn't want to rate this worse than red room yeah but maybe but it sits next to it just like it i'd does say on it the sits map. next to it yeah i i yeah honestly that's I guess no. that's how you could roast. Yeah, that's how you roast it. You know, uh, it sits next to Red Room on the tier list, and also sits next to it on the map. Look at that. Uh, yeah, honestly, I have to give it a C. All right, hang on just a minute. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, it's fine. Sorry about that. That's my friend Scam Likely. Oh right, I love those. I love <laughs> answering them and then wasting their time. <laughs> that's the best. I feel that like that's a... the only way you could really win against those guys. But um. But yeah, so... Alright, what's next? A green room. Green. So this one, I have a lot of things to say about it. I'll talk... I don't know, there's a lot of memes that come with this one. 
Um, Let me get I'll there say it once quick. we get there, yeah. I have some friends to say hello to. Oh, that's right. Oh, nice. You have <laughs> set up your seed, uh, seed eight, I, I can see. Yep. <laughs> sure. All so, right. this room is pretty interesting. Yeah. You can, I believe it's only available in hold one, hold four, four and hold five. Yeah. I think, yeah, those are the only times I've ever seen it. Yeah. And I just checked the, it's kind of funny because in the seed hold order locations, I could just type in the, I can control F and mm -hmm. just type in the name and I could see exactly where it is. But, um, yeah, honestly, yeah, it's only hold one, hold four and hold five, uh, two times in hold five, but there's an appearance for hold four appearance for hold one um yep. so never i'm gonna be hardens in here never clearing hardens no no you're only yeah you're only clearing either statics uh stealths recursives or agiles or regenerative it, mm -hmm. it depends so honestly this room overall oh wait here let me just look at this so where do where am i trying to survive yep if okay. i'm in this room Oh, so you want to start with survive? Sure. Yeah, I guess we could start with that. I mean, we could also start with the meme, essentially, since we're on that part. Um, so, yeah, in this where room, do there's you, a nice. How do you clear this room? <laughs> so, there's an inside joke with this room, and it's top or bottom. <laughs> Are you yeah. a top or a bottom? Are it's... you a top or a bottom? If you're if you're a child watching this, um, I'll wait till you're older to really figure out what that means. Yeah, but, um... top or bottom, okay? There's no innuendo going on. Yeah, so essentially there's two ways that I see people survive in this room. Um, one of those, if I'm like strictly trying to survive, it's weird. I would sit in that corner that you're looking at, actually. Yeah, By the, this yeah. this is the clockwork. This there is, the is a clockwork, clockwork the to the room. room. You go here, and then you clear this guy who's fast, yeah. and then yes. you go here, and then but, you go guy around the corner. Yeah, depending on where they spawn. Sometimes one can spawn in that green hallway right there, and then mm -hmm. two can spawn in that double doors mm -hmm. right there. Um, and then yeah, one can spawn there uh, or. Yeah, that's Sometimes it. you don't get one there, and you can just go bam, bam. Yeah, or you don't get then, one here, and you just go like bam, bam, bam. Like, yeah, but that's the basic clockwork: is green, here, here, here. Exactly. Honestly, I'd say yeah. On the bottom play level, that's kind of the safest way to play. Yep. Because I also see people holding, and I sometimes and i do this sometimes when the encryption's about to spawn honestly i only go on top of the room just to get a sight line on the good oh, on the encryptions and yeah. that could be anywhere on the top because but i see people if you're down here your sight line on encryptions is not great they're all above your head some yeah. of them are like around the corner it's not great to clear encryptions from down here but you get faster so sig kills and it's safer Yes. Yeah, you could be pretty fairly quick on this. Now let's and, talk uh, yeah. about top. Now, so top. there are three tops, yes. but only one of them is the good one. Yes, and that would have to be the one that you're climbing up right now. Yeah, the one on the left. And I only, I only see that because the one across, the problem with that one is if you don't have a good piece of cover that's blocking the green hallway what's very strange about the sosigs well it's not strange it makes sense is they can see your toes <laughs> yeah. essentially they can see your toes and like you can only see their feet yeah their yeah. toes and you can't really kill them if you have like a pistol mm -hmm. and i i say this for hold one like if you have a shotgun or a pistol yep. sitting right in that spot and waiting for the sosig to walk out is like yeah, it's, you can like it's painful. Kind of crouch down and then like, haha! But you're losing score waiting for them to come, or you're losing score killing them in the feet. Yes, and I mean honestly, yeah, you're losing score waiting for them to come. That's the big part right there because they usually like to. Oh, it seems like you have a supply point over there. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So because when they see you, they stop usually, and they start to back up and shoot at you. And sometimes they can just get dislodged in that spot, and it's just terrible. So, yeah, yeah 
never would want to hold there. Unless if the encryption's about to spawn, and you're just going to, depending on the lineup, you're going to be taking out the encryption. In the center one, you get this spawn, you get that spawn, which is nice, but and you can't really see this spawn, and this spawn will climb this ladder and assault you. Yeah, and the guys at the green one can also essentially see the tip of your head and just be cautious or depending on where you're standing on that platform yeah th those two platforms are not really the best for surviving so uh, i'm gonna be honest one one spot to rule them all here and yes that's bam then you get this guy and then maybe that guy and then you come back to here you just kind of have to keep your ears open and keep your head on a swivel here because what order and where kind of fluctuates yeah i completely agree with that that's but you do get encryption vision you do yeah so it's, it's it's yeah this this spot is honestly a really good spot for i mean yeah honestly for surviving too because mm -hmm. the problem is or the, not the problem but the nice thing is is that even if you mess up and you miss a bunch of shots and you need to reload usually the cover in that spot that you're yeah. standing in is you very two lenient of them usually they're pretty convenient so you can like Hide behind them, figure out how to load your weapon. Yeah, and then you could just, and then you could just wait for the, yeah, and then, and then you could just wait for the so six to climb up the ladder and kill them mm -hmm. if you really feel like it comes down to yeah. that. If you're really overwhelmed. Yeah, if you're really overwhelmed, and honestly, it's a pretty safe spot. Honestly, it's very good. Um, honestly, this hold is good for. Yeah, it's or this room is good for all the holds that it has, honestly. Like yeah. for for the first hold, oh my goodness. This is a amazing hold. Essentially yeah. you just kill the Sosigs and then you just sit up in one of these spots and absolutely laser the first set of encryptions. Yep. Yep. And if you're if you're waiting for encryptions, like you've cleared your you can come over to like the other pillars and get a nice yeah. light up. Obviously you yeah. don't you're not stuck over there. Yeah. I yeah, I completely But usually agree the encryptions are the best from over here anyway. Yeah, it, it just all depends. It's all once again it's random. It's like mm -hmm. whatever works for the situation that's oh, at hand. The stealth node that you can't see that you're missing, that you don't know where it is, it's right here. It's sitting like right next to the orange circle. It's there's one that spawns like right there. So that's the one that you can't see. Kill that's that actually one. good to know because i actually <laughs> haven't played this room in a while for hold four but for my memory mm -hmm. yeah i can i think yeah the stealth there's a cheeky one right there there's a cheeky one yeah so yeah no it's um it's an interesting room it's a good room there's honestly the sosigs don't take their time either really unless if you make that mistake with that green hallway or maybe you missed a shot on the yeah, once again, but that, that's all user error. That's the thing. Yeah. The, the thing about it, the rooms, the, these SOSIGs will take their time on user error, not from just randomly getting stuck on something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, It's not a great place to get overwhelmed. There's, there's really not. nowhere to go. But if you stay on top of them by like working the clockwork, you're okay. Yeah, if you work the clockwork, which I believe is the safest way to survive, it does get you to move around. Mm -hmm. So if a player, if a, if a normal player is not really, or like a, a new player is not really good at moving around, essentially, while also shooting and also reloading, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's not really that bad because you can do the clockwork. You yeah. can go back into that spot and then or reload. But the spot up there is pretty survivable. I yeah, will it's say, survivable. practice your ladder pops. Okay. Oh yes. Practice your ladder pops. It does take a bit. But if if you hit the orb and you're doing if you're doing this after you hit the orb you're gonna die. Yeah. Don't do this. You, don't, yeah. That's, you have to throw yourself if you want to get there in time. Yeah, and I mean if you're playing on uh, playful gravity too, playful mm -hmm. great uh, yeah playful player gravity, it's a lot easier to get up there. With yeah. realistic though, it's a little rough. I I can tell you that because I play realistic. Really, because yeah, I play realistic because I want to be able to drop down faster. Because mm. playful, you don't, and sometimes that could lead you getting killed. 
Right. Um, but that's a whole different meal. That's a whole <laughs> different thing, spiel, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's, yeah, practice those ladder pops, especially if at the last second you're going to try and get a good spot on the encryptions after yeah. dealing with a wave. You just pop up there very quick and then get in a good spot for the encryptions. And yeah, then just laser them all. I but, can't um, do it right now because I don't want to punch my microphone. I'm usually I get that. better than this, folks. I accidentally <laughs> socked my crouch, my, my crotch last stream. Oh, no. Doing that, I'm not kidding. I'm not. I'm serious, <laughs> dude. It happened last stream. I could probably find a recording, but yeah, don't, don't, don't hit yourself doing the ladder pops either. If especially if you're trying to do them super quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happened. It was terrible, dude. I, I, it was so hard. I, I so... punched myself so hard. <laughs> does does green room go in F tier then? F tier <laughs> because of that? Yeah, yeah, it does. No. <laughs> um, honestly, green tier, I'd say, is a um. I would have to say that green tier is also an A. Honestly, yeah. on it, there's there's a lot to it. There's multiple ways to do it. It's not boring. It's pretty good for the encryptions. Honestly, the encryptions mm -hmm. are not bad for this hold. You always, yeah, there's so many good things about it. The Sosigs don't get stuck. Um, yeah, honestly, I... It's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. It's a great vibe. It, it, once again, it's missing that key feature that I mentioned that purple is missing as well, that another one has, but spoilers. So <laughs> I'd say it's an A tier for sure. All right. And we oh, come God. around the corner to yep. J Hallway. So oh, this one's interesting. It's not it's not relatively bad. It's definitely a little rough and I I have a few reasons for that. I mean, well, I guess we can start by the the order. I'll say the survival thing. Um so there's multiple ways that you could survive this one, especially in one hit or you're a new player. Um so you could clockwork it essentially where you start on that right side as you can see. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, you're this right side where you block your sight line from behind you and you just take out the two sosigs that could spawn. Yep. Because, yeah, they could spawn right there. They could also spawn to the left. And then they can't spawn from green room, right? No, they can't. No, there is there is a spawn in green room. Okay. It's yeah. right there. Okay. Right oh, there and that's for the room. other side. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you kind of have to do, like, these guys, then those guys, then these guys and then they should be coming around this corner but yeah if you're here they can also walk through green to right there which is and why that, i don't that, like holding this spot very well because yeah. you do get that 50 50 it's a safe and spot it, yeah it's, it's a, safe a safe spot, spot. and i was gonna say what you said about that green hallway thing or, or the green room about the, the susig walking across funny enough in a different spot that can actually work both ways mm -hmm. but in a good way so if you walk to the other side towards yeah towards yep. the green room where that spawn is you could also hold here honestly this is where and i sit like in that hold. corner yeah that's that's what i was gonna say you could actually take out the sosig that spawns in that far hallway yep and the green room one from the sight line right there so you get this which, spawn then you get this spawn you rotate around to this spawn and yep. by that time the ones from all the way down there should be coming around the corner, and you can pop them right here. Yeah, so, which is very bam, cool. Bam, bam, and bam. And which you got yourself like a, a nice, nice little clockwork. It's a very good clockwork. Honestly, it's a little bit more... It's slightly more riskier than the other one. Mm -hmm. But it's I faster. Mean, it's, I faster. it's faster. Yes, it is faster. It is definitely faster. No and doubt so about six, that in here don't get lost because you pop them as soon as you can see them yes and, and you have a nice little cozy cover corner there too yeah things really go south but that's yeah the only problem with it is you have to check if there's a cloud over here yeah so that's what i was gonna say but but just for survival those two spots yep. i get I, I suppose are like really good yep. but for <sighs> yeah so you like kill a wave you run down here, you check. If you're doing stealths, good luck. But yeah. you, if if there's no encryption here, great. You can just live over here. 
Otherwise, you're going to have to be like, okay, do I stand here when the encryption spawns? This way you can yeah. see them all, but you well, are in the middle of the hallway. Not just that, but funny enough, you cannot see all the encryption sometimes yeah, from that. and it's like right here. Yes, and I was going to get to that. Oh, you just punched your microphone. <laughs> it's okay. So, this room can pop in and hold one, mm-hmm. hold two, or hold four. Now, the problem with this, the one thing that I have a severe problem with in this room are those arches above you, those yeah. columns for encryptions. Oh my god. They, they hide could be, them really yeah, well. Yeah, they're hidden sometimes just out of your sight line. And for hold four, when there's stealths, that yep. could be an absolute mind like screwing like here, which is yeah. kind of hidden a little. Yeah. It's it's rough for hold four. Honestly, hold four for this one is kind of scary. Yeah. Um, I mean, because there's so you don't you can't really have a full full sight line of the whole room. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you could trip yourself up because it's like, oh, I destroyed all the encryptions to my left. Let me go kill, destroy the one on the right the stealth encryptions and yep. you destroy the right one you're like oh we're, we're what why isn't it over mm-hmm. and then you have to run all the way back to the other side to figure out that one of the stealths is hidden behind there and the problem with this room for the stealths is you have to move around no matter what sometimes yeah. depending on where they spawn you yep. can't just sit in a corner and just shoot you, them all you, you have to probably move. have to fight from one from wherever you are to the other side you yeah have to fight through and that's kind of the scary thing about this room, which kind of sucks. It kind of blows, honestly. Mm-hmm. Is, I mean, it's weird. It's weird to say because a red room, as gross as it is, you can at least have a full sight line yeah. on everything, it, depending on where you place yourself. Of course, it's going to be exposed. Of course, sometimes they're going to be far, but you can at least see mm-hmm. all the encryptions. With this one, it's a, it screws your head completely with that, those arches. Yeah. Now, um, this hallway doesn't have a problem that the other hallways have, which is the invisible encryption because it's like too close to a light. I don't oh, experience right. that too much in this one compared to like L and uh, T hallway. That's a good point. But once again, those arches make up for it. <laughs> yeah, the arches. Like, you can see, like, the little sparkly things from the bottom of, like, the, the static encryption. You're like, I know it's there, just let me shoot it. But the, but the what's it called, the hitbox barriers sometimes yeah. aren't really in your favor for mm-hmm. that. And that's, that's the main killer of this room for me, honestly. But yep. as far as not holding, as people holding in a bad spot, honestly, I feel like there's kind of not really any traps really i mean maybe if you sit in that middle hallway i mean like if yeah. you blatantly just sit in that middle hallway and just sit right there yeah, yeah like but that's I a don't, weird spot to to hold i don't like, see anyone really pulled there i see yeah. maybe very very new players try to hold there the first time and then yeah, they they realize like how cover. bad of a spot it is folks don't yeah. rely on the cover don't rely on the cover just Use the use what's always there, so you don't have to be like Jedi and be like, "Oh, I hope I got the tall cover this time in orange room." Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, but like this is a really weird spot. It's totally counterintuitive because you're just like in a corner. But I I like holding here. Yeah, that's a good that's a good spot for. for honestly, it's a great sightline. But once again, it could work both ways. Asosa can see you if you're playing one hit. Asosa can see you. Yeah. on the other side and then there's yeah. sniping getting in a gunfight with these guys over here is not desirable yeah especially for one hit maybe I, I guess if I'm playing one hit I would be sitting up on that other side mm-hmm. or I would be sitting where you are and not show myself to the green yeah. to that hallway I, I would just sit in that corner yeah that yeah, corner wait, that you're looking wait at wait till they like take out these guys quick and then boop and then take yep. them out and, and then the dude behind and yeah all and so on so that's Kind of where I'm at with this room. Are you in the J Hallway Haters Club? So, the thing is, is that it's not... It's not a bad room. I mean, it's not the worst room. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Get, don't get me wrong. I mean, the problem is, is that it just... I, I can't really say, because the thing about Red Room and Blue Hallway is that you actually have a good appropriate sightline on all the mm-hmm. encryptions. Mm-hmm. This one, you might actually have to force you to run around to kill them or just destroy them, especially on hold four, on hold four, especially usually on hold one and two, not really. Sometimes the statics can spawn behind and force you to move, but that's very rare for the statics, but for the stealths, oh God, the stealth screwed me over a lot in this one. Agile's not really, agiles are usually in relatively nice spots, but I don't know. It's, it's a little bit of a sketchy room. I don't think it's, it's definitely not the worst room. It's not F tier. Mm. Honestly, I'd. It's weird because I hate to say that I hate a room, but I don't. I don't really hate any of them. I just think yeah. that there's a lot of room. There's room for error on this, and the errors on this one can definitely screw you over, like for sure. Is J Hallway a D tier then? I'd have to say it's probably a D tier. Yeah. Okay. Because. It's honestly, it's not the worst room. There's some good sight lines here and there, like the one that you showed with yeah. the. Uh, that's there's some nifty tricks to it, but it's not bad for. Or it's just it's a little risky for encryptions, I suppose. So it's just that's kind of how I feel about that room. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really play in it much. It's there's only three seeds that it's in. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, I guess I guess I am. I guess I'm part of the J Hallway pro- like hater club. I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I just realized like we're an hour in and we're not even halfway done. We're we're getting there. We're, we're getting there. Um, <laughs> right. L. We have a hallway. lot to say. Yeah. L Hallway. Um, okay. L Hallway. Does it so take this... the L? <sighs> okay. So this hallway. Um, so honestly, wait, isn't this, oh yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, this is L, all right, yeah. I don't know it why, I thought for a second it was T. Here. Yeah, it draws across here. So this one is interesting. Now, it's very strange, but if I'm playing this mode, or playing this hold to survive it, sometimes I usually hold, so you know that orange... Yeah, that or the, the entrance to pillar room to okay. your right. Yep. Yeah, I hide behind that corner. This corner right here. Yeah, right here. So what I can do is that essentially I can kill the sosigs that spawn right there, and then mm-hmm. kill the sosigs that spawn right there, and then clear any of the ones that are to my right. Mm-hmm. And then you kind and, of work and down you, the hallway. Yeah. And honestly, then... and I just do that over and over again. That's my clockwork for this room. Okay. Um. It's honestly, you, it gives you the most cover. It it can be pretty quick depending on how fast you are. Mm-hmm. Um, for one hits, it's pretty good. I don't really. I mean, I get yeah. Honestly, I don't really have any other spots. It, I really. It's not sit an in. easy room to clockwork yeah. because it's so spread out and disparate. My clockwork yeah. is you can actually see the Sosig pop in right here. He like right. appears right, and then you get this one, then that one, then you clear the end of the hallway. That's my clockwork. That's a good but, one. That's like a good I one. don't like it like more than yours. It's just the one that I do. <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, I I get that. No, I I honestly that's not a bad idea either. Maybe depending on where the encryptions are, I might hold that too. The problem with but, my clockwork is if two Sosigs spawn here, then the second one is a pain in the butt. Because he's not right in your bullet's path, and he can like duck down, and then you're slow on this guy. But you know, same yeah. Thing. And, and then for the for if I'm playing standard health and I'm not really trying to survive and playing for score, mm-hmm. honestly, I would be running around this room. I would just be running around instantly yeah. checking all the spawns and killing them. Yeah, like honestly, like, I wouldn't wait for them. Having a like sometimes there's one that's stuck here you can kind of like stick your arm through the wall and shoot down the hallway yeah if you really want to like get him so that he, you know because this is one of the the most stuck sosigs 
is the yeah, one that's in that's, here. Th that happens quite a lot. Yeah, that happens a little too much, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, surviving here is like you can just do the the running around like a madman strat. I don't think it's particularly worse than the two clockworks we had. I just yeah. like my clockworks because my gameplay is boring. <laughs> right. No, that's no. I mean, it doesn't matter because as long as you're surviving that's the whole point yeah as long as it's working out that's also the whole point once again there's probably a lot of things that or a lot of places that we haven't mentioned that people do and maybe it works out for them yeah so honestly that that's another We're, thing to consider. our advice is for if it's not working out for you yeah exactly <laughs> so this room is interesting because of that and honestly the encryptions uh, it's not. Oh yeah, bad. you do get you do get the bright one like the oh, stealths. Oh yeah, the stealths disappear here. The stealths can disappear up here. But usually you get a couple in this corner. You get some down there. But yeah, they can disappear due to the light and glare. But otherwise, yeah, nothing too special about this. Yeah, this room is on hole two once hold three once and hold four twice yeah so honestly yeah for hold two it's not a bad room um honestly it's a very easy room yeah essentially if you have a shotgun oh my god yeah you could just because you only have you just sit right there have two sight lines easy easy yeah no it's problem. not too dangerous of a spot either if if you you're only here when it spawns in <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it's crazy to think about, but this hold, this second hold is a lot better than the second hold that I usually play on seed, seed 8. Yeah. We'll get to that a little later, but yeah, so L Hallway is honestly, it's yeah. not bad, it's it's just that the holding is surviving in it is a little rough. Mm -hmm. Like, the encryption's good. There's but... not really a good, great safe spot that, you know, you can really hunker down in. And then stealth encryptions could also be, uh, and then also recursives too. Mm -hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, because sometimes you could have two recursives that spawn down here, yep, and then, and then one on the other down. side. Yeah, so that's also an annoying thing. But yeah, it's just I don't know. It's just a, uh, it's a rough, it's a rough one. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's, it's not really the best. Yeah. One that you could have. Which I hate to say, but yeah, honestly this this one is not really that good. <laughs> I'd I'd hate to uh, let me see. I'm i I'm just looking through the questions here. Uh but yeah, do I stand yeah, do I stand somewhere different when the encryption spawn in? Yeah, I, I essentially stand in that corner mm -hmm. when they spawn in and Yeah, and then just absolutely just laser them if if it's they're in my field of vision if it's the recursives though god damn it like they, if they're in a bad spot sometimes they could cluster up and spawn in that corner mm -hmm. the corner of the l sometimes they don't sometimes they like to go all over the place all but, right where does l hallway go in our little tier list so as a hold that's a hallway hold it's not really memorable I'm going to be honest, I forgot that this one existed until you showed me. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's kind of funny. I, as much as I only play uh, hold or seed eight, mm -hmm. I remember purple room. I remember how to play orange room. I remember how to play all those rooms. Yep. But this one is not really memorable. It's not really... I mean, it's it's crazy. It, it's, it can get hectic, sure. Yep. Um, it's not really the best for encryptions either because anything can go wrong in this one for hold two oh it's a great hold two room honestly it's a great hold two room but hold four and hold three eh, eh, the recursives could be absolutely brutal where does it go does it i'd go say C? b is it our first b um you know trying to think oh uh, i'd have to say l hallway has to be a good sorry i'm thinking about this one this one's crazy <laughs> this one's tough 
This one is tough because it's not all bad. There are some good qualities, especially say, hold two. Hold two is nice for this. But for hold three and four, it's just so many things can go wrong with this one. Especially with the recursives and the stealths. I'd honestly have to say that this one sort of has the same problem as Jay. Where if this, except this one has the lights. Yeah. Where stealths can be pretty much invisible. Yeah. Honestly, I'd say that L Hallway is almost equal to J. L Hallway taking the L. Yeah, essentially. Going down I, D tier. D tier. All right. All right. We're yeah. in teal. Okay. Or light blue. This it's light blue, teal. light this blue. This is light blue. A surprisingly dangerous, deadly room. This room, honestly... I think this is like the second deadliest room in hallways. Yes. And people I... might be like, what? It's like, it's so simple. But like, this, this room gets you killed. Yeah, so there are so many problems with this room. And honestly, I've exp I've experienced those problems when I played in Taken Hold. Mm -hmm. uh, or when I played in First to Worst. Yeah. Like, some people have seen it. Actually, a lot of people have, have suffered the same thing that I have in this room. So, okay. There are so many things wrong with this room. I'm gonna... Honestly, it sucks because I normally would start saying, Oh, where do I start the hold when I'm trying to survive? It's right yeah. here. Yeah, it's There's right here. There's only one spot. You're always There's only here. one spot essentially, yeah. Some I mean, maybe you can like, go. Oh, you could hold like up there, but like but that stinks. There's there's a lot of things that can go wrong there. I've seen yeah. people go there. I mean, I sometimes hop over there just what do you want to line do? up Left encryptions. And peak every so sig. It's... Yeah, that's not fun. Maybe maybe if you're a lefty. But this my this my only reasoning to go over there is if. I'm going if I'm lining up encryptions. Yeah. yeah. But that's about it. And sometimes the encryptions in this room could be rough, honestly. Sometimes you could have one. I think one can spawn in that little corner, right? Mm, over there? No. Yeah. I've never seen one. You've they're never always, seen one? Okay. They're always here. They're always there. Okay. There's one, yeah, there's one here. But, yeah, if you're, if you're here, you can see them all. Right. Okay. And I mean... Yeah, this room is only for the first three holds. There appear makes an appearance once for hold one, once for hold two, and two times for hold three. Mm -hmm. Now, if this was hold four or hold five, oh my god, it would be a nightmare. Yeah. It would be a straight-up nightmare. Now, but off the bat, I'm going to say the main problem with this hold... Oh yeah, we haven't gone over how to really survive this one. It's like, typically... How do you I would, work it? Do you shoot... Like this guy comes first, bam bam. Yeah, I would maybe usually that guy comes second. Yep, and then I and then take a peek guy, to the right. And then there's the ladder guy, which that guy is the one that kills you. And, and sometimes if you kill guy. them all quick enough, yeah, you can take out that guy or that guy. Yeah, yeah, it's. I think the the one that like one spawns here, and it can either go this way, or, or... it can go all the way down here. And then it goes rocket speed down the ladder and shoots you. Yeah. So, and that's the problem with this hold. There are so many entrances for such a small room. Mm -hmm. And also, too, they can get stuck. Yeah. A lot. Like, I'm talking this, they get they get stuck so many times. I cannot tell you how many times they've gotten stuck. And, and the only real problem with that besides, like, obviously you're losing score, but you're not running the C date, but... It's that it creates such, like, uh, you don't know when they're going to come in the room. Yeah, it, like, it, he, that happens. Um, also, too, since that's the only spot you're holding, this, this is the other thing that I was going to talk about. If they toss a nade up there, yeah, you're forced to move. Yeah, and what it, are you going to do? Come down here? Oof, yeah. That's not a good retreat. And the worst part is, too, is that if you're playing on a re realistic gravity, or actually, no, actually, I think Playful, even. Oh, yeah, no, Playful actually has this problem. So, okay, so Playful or realistic, what's kind of crazy about this room is that this has happened so many times in First Wars, it blows my mind to see it. It's funny I say blow, but essentially what happens is Sosigs will come in from Yellow Hallway, as you mm -hmm. can see that doorway, and... Yeah, sometimes you shoot them. 
like immediately, but sometimes they can get off a grenade. Mm -hmm. Now, but sometimes you don't know that. Sometimes you can't see that. Sometimes you're dealing with another SOSIG to your right yep. or left of you. or. And the crazy thing is, is that if they throw it right, and this happens a lot because of the angle, the grenade will land right on where the mezzanine starts and rolls, but it, it doesn't make a single sound because oh, of yeah. how perfect the arc is. And it's perfect from that angle because that's, yeah, that's the perfect angle to throw something and have mm -hmm. it arc like that. Yeah. So that happens so much and you can't hear it. I've died on a one hit run. I was doing perfectly fine on hold three. No problems, getting great scores. And I think it's recorded somewhere, but you don't hear the grenade at all in my mm -hmm. plate and it, it kills me I, I, I blew it from a nade after the whole hold was over yeah and it's not just grenades like you can just get shot to death in here on standard mm. hell like yeah it's yeah. not hard it's not hard to die in this room the encryptions aren't bad but there's just so many yeah the encrypt if they all yeah they all spawn right there that's kind of nice but the, it's kind of annoying to deal with when yeah. so sigs are just yeah, coming in. I wish in. I had tips for new players. Like, no, there's actually a secret spot to hold, like here. But no, like the only spot is the obvious spot, and it's it's not great. It's not great at all. Yeah, honestly, this hold just kind of blows. I'm gonna be honest. It's not is, really. Is this our F tier? I'm gonna be honest. I think this one might be. Oof. But the only thing that's really recovering this room is just the fact that the swarms or the encryptions are usually in good spots but yeah that's kind of the only thing that's really helping it and i mean i don't know i i feel like the rest of the room there's just so many things that can go wrong yeah and compared to red room red room there's a lot of things that could go wrong but nothing as bad as it could yeah. here mm -hmm. i feel yeah i honestly i just i just don't like this room <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be honest I, I really hate this room this room is always a question mark whenever I play on it. It's just like, what yeah. the hell? I, I think I'm gonna put this on F tier. All right. And I think a lot of other people can agree. Light blue, yeah, F tier. Okay. Honestly, yeah, the only thing that makes up is just the encryptions, but that still is very bad. That brings us to orange. Orange room. Orange okay. room. Probably like the third deadliest room in hallways. It is, I, I guess, yeah, you could say that. Um, Honestly, there's multiple different ways that you can actually go about this room. Here, let me get the seed holder thing. I know that this thing is a fifth hold one. Oh, funny enough. This one's featured the most so far out of all of them. Yeah. Yeah, this this one pops up more than most. So the only hold that this one doesn't ever take place in is hold four. Interesting. Believe it or not. Yeah, okay. so hold one, hold two, hold three. Yeah, it's all there so here's the thing i for this mode or for for this hold depending on what hold it is um i typically survival wise i typically actually sit at that corner staircase or the, the staircase at the corner there and mm -hmm. i only say that because what i do is that i sit in a spot oh i, I move a little bit more to the left so you mm -hmm. see that green hallway mm -hmm. i move I would like at the base of the stairs, like where so can stairs, walk up. Like yeah, or to the left a little bit. Oh no, it's kind of like midway on the stairs. Yeah, so I usually sit right there, and there's a reason why. So, pretty much, what I do is I listen to where the Sosigs are going to spawn, mm -hmm. and I just run to them and kill them instantly, and that's it. Really? That's I don't think I've ever seen someone hold it like that. I that's that's what I typically do for hold you one just and keep two. Your ears out and then you're yes. You're I just in. yes, exa exactly. I just do that until I know the encryptions are going to spawn. Um, I don't see a lot of people do the thing that I do. Honestly, no. it, it's a little hectic, but mm -hmm. typically if you do it right, it's almost impossible for a sosig to even get their sights on you as long as you keep you can, track of everything. You can go like this guy and then this guy. And then this guy. But what do you do about that one? Um, typically, I just usually deal with that guy last. Okay. Because the thing is, or sometimes he spawn. Yeah, so I just deal with him like, last. Bam, bam, yeah. bam, bam. B well, depending on, depending of on course, 
so safe. Running down. Yeah. Yeah, because if I hear that there, oh, there's one on my left, I kill him. I know yeah. that there's one on my right, and then nothing came from the middle, or I hear mm -hmm. nothing from the middle one, that middle doorway right there. I just immediately know that he's up there because the one up there takes a little bit of time yeah. to actually peek you. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm almost, I'd say, yeah, more time than the one in that middle doorway there, that middle single door. Now, um, there's also a lot of people like holding, this is what I call Jedi's Landing. Yeah, this is good. This for... is Jedi's Landing, because there is always a piece of cover that spawns here. Some, like, if you like crouching, if you like getting on your knees, sometimes it's only halfway. Yeah. But you get this guy immediately, and then this guy, and then that guy, and then you kind of have to wait for this guy. Yeah, if, if he even is going to spawn there. It's kind of yeah, no. and honestly, I would I would have to say that this is probably the best survival spot. The is, spot that I mentioned so? was. Um, I don't yeah. like this spot. You don't like the spot. There's, I mean, there's a couple reasons why. That guy can see you immediately. This guy can see you immediately. That guy can see you immediately. And then there's like always like a piece of cover here that like this guy messes obscures with obscures you. your vision right there. Yeah, I like holding up here because you get this guy immediately. And then bam, and then bam, and then you can hear this guy really well. And then you also have cover. Yeah, yeah this is not a bad spot nice either. Cover. And, and you have the encryptions right there. If if you have to retreat from this spot, say you're getting overwhelmed, where do you go? Here? Into the middle of the room? But yeah, that's a good point. If you get overwhelmed here, look, you can fall into this nice corner, and now nobody can see you. And this is the spot that if you're if you're trying to survive you start here then you cut the pie into the room you turn around there he is i i like this as a nice retreating spot and if you're trying to really survive you have this nice corner to work and cut the pie through yeah no i yeah that's honestly probably the best survival spot honestly i and the i other thought problem I with Jedi's like... landing is there's an encrypt right here Oh yeah. And you always that's... if you're if you're holding here, you always forget it. If you're over here, it's right there. So funny enough, when I do that little strategy that I tell you about where I just absolutely mayhem all the SOSIGs, mm -hmm. once I know the encryptions are gonna spawn, I either go to where you're at right now, mm -hmm. or I actually hop on the the uh either that one or the one at the corner of the staircase. Yeah because I can see the one that spawns in front of me. Right. And then, and then yeah. Because it'll be right high. in front of you. It'll be right in front of you, yeah. So, yeah, honestly, the way that I play it is more of a score technique. It, it, there's a lot of risk factor to it. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm probably always going to play that, that room that way. If I was playing one hit, yeah, same with one hit. Funny enough, I actually do that for one hit as well. Mm -hmm. It's just, I don't know, it works well for me. Maybe if other people practice it, it might work out for them, but... I'm gonna this, I'm gonna have to try it. Yeah, give it give it a shot. Let me know how, what you think. It's interesting. It's an interesting spot. But yeah, honestly, for survivability though, for the best possible, safest bait, like place to be, I would have to say it's your spot. Yeah. Yep. Hold here. It's good. Yeah, that's it's good. You have three eyes on three entrances, and you could hear if someone's creeping up on you from behind, mm -hmm. and you could deal with them accordingly. You also usually have cover. Yeah. So that's always kind of nice too. Yeah. So honestly, yeah. And you and can kind of retreat a little bit. So mm. one bad spot that I see people hold a lot though is that back left corner. Um between the green that green hallway thing and the normal hallway. You hear you see people hold this? Uh I've seen people hold there and to the right in the other side behind like you. Up there. Oh no 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 behind you. Uh, right there. I've seen people hold this spot a lot. And, uh, yeah, in first worst. Uh, I've seen, yeah, it's it's Oof. a crazy spot. What are you doing, guys? Um, that guy takes yes. a while, so you got everybody at the same time. Exactly. But sometimes, usually cover spawns there, so I think that's what incentivizes people to go over there. Mm. Especially new players. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. I've seen so many new players die on, like, hole two. Yeah, because they're like, oh, like, yeah, you damn, don't want to be, you don't want to be on the dance floor, guys. 
yeah this is that that whole area that you're down at is a big no-no area unless if you're mastering that strat that i was talking about <laughs> i mean even then you're not even properly down there you're just on the staircase yeah, just, you're kind of just spinning circles around here. yeah spinning circles yeah if you're camped up in a corner right there, so many things go wrong. You can get a nade thrown at you. You don't have anywhere to go if that happens. Um, so You can have all the sosigs start to gather up and stuff on you. Because if you're missing a lot of your shots, I don't know, you just have a lot of disadvantages down there. And I see people go there. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend if you're someone who actually does that, try out one of these spots we mentioned. They, yeah definitely are will probably help you out remember high ground is usually the best thing to have in this game i say usually because we had an instance in purple room where that yeah. top mezzanine was kind of bad but yeah you, you get the idea um but in terms of being a in terms of encryptions this room is pretty good honestly yeah you can, you can always see the whole see thing all of them. yeah you could always see all of them if you figure out a good clockwork like the way that I mentioned, or Voight does. I mean, that's not really... A clock. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's a good clockwork. You're killing the guys right there, and then you're dealing with the guy behind you. Yeah. You can Honestly, just, like, eat yourself towards the encryptions here. <laughs> yeah. For it being a deadly... I mean, in, in terms of it being boring or exciting, I did wish that there was more <laughs> to this room, because yeah. there's so much space over there that's not being used mm -hmm. at all. But, yeah, because Red Room is huge, but Red Room has a bunch of things going on. It yeah. has a bunch of rises, elevation, lower areas. This room only has, like, one high re like high area, high mezzanine, and then that's it. Yep. This is empty, which yeah. is easy for the player, I suppose, right? If you're not going, if you're not down there. Um, so, honestly, in terms of vibes, though... It's kind of funny, because I actually used to hate this room when I was new. Yeah, I still kind of do. <laughs> I still kind of do a little bit, and sometimes it can be weird, but... The encryptions are usually good, unless if the, stat unless if the stealth spawn right underneath the lights right there. That's a little mm -hmm. scary. Where but do you rate it? I would have to say it's a... I would have to say maybe it's a C tier. C tier? Because honestly, I don't really see it being. It's not necessarily a bad room. It's not like there's all the encryptions are there. It's very easy to deal with. Mm -hmm. And honestly, yeah, I just don't see anything really wrong with it. There's other than messing up. I mean, maybe I maybe even rate this. Oh, I'm trying to think. I'd say maybe even a... It's it's kind of crazy. This might be controversial, but I'd say maybe even a B tier. B tier for orange. Because okay. there's... Yeah, I mean, as open as it is and how... I'm not I, I can't letting really it get see, any higher. Yeah, I'm not letting it get any <laughs> higher. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's for sure. There's not really much that can really go wrong in that room as long as you have your shit together. Like, it's... They... they don't take their time getting anywhere. Sorry if I'm taking a little too long explaining this, but they can't, they, yeah, they don't get stuck anywhere. All the encryptions spawn in pretty good spots. They're, you can see it all in a good view range. Yeah, yep. there's only one spot to really that's really safe to be in. And it's not really the most nicest looking room. Mm -hmm. It's boring, but it still is good. Yeah. It's just you have to know how to essentially play it. Yep. But, um, yeah. So, Pillars. Pillars. This room. We're in Pillars. So, Pillars, only, I think... Only is like, first and second hold? I don't yeah. think we even ever see it for third hold or later. Let me check. I think it is a third hold. I think there's one. Um, what is this one? This one is... Yeah, Pillars. Also known as Dark as Dark Blue. Oh, wow. Oh my god, dude! This is this hold isn't featured at all. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's 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 there's two hold ones and one hold three. <laughs> yeah, I like pillars. Yeah, I like pillars too. It's not it, bad. It's like they, a little baby room. I don't know. It's a little baby room. The encryption spawn in good spots. 
the threat level isn't really too high on this nope. one since there's only three entrances yep. that you can easily clockwork honestly yeah, i think this is like the people without knowing like what clockworking is or like the concept it's very like okay well obviously i get those guys first because they're far away bam bam yeah and then, and then bam, you get bam, that guy and then these and guys then are climbing the ladder guy. bam bam like it's it's pretty easy it's such an easy room like, there is a so... second clockwork that you can run where you yeah. start halfway up the stairs you get these guys first then those guys then those guys which yep. you know i don't think one's better than the other just whichever yeah. one you're feeling like see each their own yeah those are both very good survivable spots I do see two places that people hold that mm -hmm. sh they shouldn't. Funny enough, in, in such a small room, uh, of course, there is some errors. Yeah, right. The one's yeah. right there. One's right here. What are you right doing here. down here? You can't I've see seen people... anything. Like, they've got the, you're giving up the high ground for them to, like, shoot at you and retreat. Like, what are you doing? I guess maybe it feels a little bit more cozy since they just have to deal with that one entrance and then just look at, I don't know. It's, it's strange. I've seen people hold down there. Mm-hmm it's ex it's painful for me to watch <laughs> i get it though but yeah uh, yeah new players usually hold it i guess they do learn after a while though because i yeah i don't think people really talk about that spot too much anyways yeah i'm assuming people grow out of it relatively quick mm -hmm. but um yeah definitely not that spot and funny enough i've seen people hold right above that ladder i'm not kidding oh so that you you just or, get like yeah, not right above it, it but like right there yeah, here yeah. like they kind of like played this area nah you're, yeah you i'd uh, i've seen people do that and honestly i've those were more in the early days of first horse people have grown a lot more better yeah. to that now thank god but it, yeah that 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 was painful to watch for not some people great held there. To hold. yeah you're making things a lot harder for yourself the encryptions well, you only have hold one and hold three encryptions. They're yep. relatively good. Sometimes There's the not... pillars can get in the way. The Sometimes, nominal pillars, yeah. but you can work around them. It's what can you Some... even say about this room? Yeah, and there's no stealth. There's yeah, honestly, there's rec recursives I guess and you could hardens. Go to clear, but like I never feel like I need to. Yeah, exactly. Clearing is relatively good in this area. Yeah. It's not it's not a bad yeah, it's not a bad hold at all honestly um yeah there's not really any room for error as long as you just follow the cycles and pop the encryptions you can easily pop them they're not relatively the most complicated ones the only complicated one that you're going to have is a recursive but those typically usually spawn really close to each other and even if they are across the room they're still very close you yeah. can relatively destroy them both without even having to move sometimes all right tearless sit in the middle the so vibes. tearless time what um, are the vibes i'd say that this one probably has to be an a tier i like, love it as an a -tier. yeah i yeah, think I don't, it's a great first hold room it's a great first hold room. yeah i don't see any problems really with this one besides that one factor <laughs> that I keep on talking about that I can't that I won't speak of until we get to that room. It's the very last room unfortunately, but you you'll, you'll, you'll all see what that is. Yeah, all honestly, right. I there's yeah, A tier for that room. Oh, right. We're in teal. teal. Hold 4 on C8. It's what we all know it as. Yes. So, here I'm just going to and I think this is another one where the clockwork comes pretty naturally. Oh yeah, the because like is those guys so come natural. in first, boom boom. Then these guys come in, boom boom, and then yes. you just wait for those guys. Which or, is like I think the very natural clockwork. Now you could second kind of clockwork. You could yeah. stand down here and then run up the stairs. You get that guy, then you turn for this guy. Or you could do both as well yeah so you, could, you can you could boom, start by doing that boom, that and then you run down the stairs and kill this guy and then, and then just wait, wait for, for him hold. yeah and then rinse and repeat and yeah. funny enough if you do it quick enough you can actually get an extra wave in there yeah it's kind of crazy actually if you do exactly that um and that can lead to most points but as to, in terms of survivability yeah your best bet is to do that clockwork method yeah i, I don't mean think you there's could any other real stress i mean you could essentially sit in the corner 
on the left yeah the left corner that you were next to yeah you yeah. could essentially sit there shoot the guy on the left shoot the guy on the right mm -hmm. and then just wait for the guy to walk up the stairs yeah i have but, seen a lot of new players like waiting on the radar they got like radar on one hand and they're just kind of like leaning back <laughs> just yeah I, I i've seen that happen a lot in first horse in fact in some of the highlights you can actually see some people hold that but um we're, yes clear them fast be more proactive just move to the top of the stairs or chase them all the way down the stairs exactly now this room honestly yeah that's it's perfect for points Mm -hmm. um same with the stealth stealths are relatively yeah. really good in this Just room don't get caught at the bottom waiting for so sigs when the encryption yes pop in. it's yes it's surprisingly easy to do and then you're like ah dang it and the best spot for encryptions i'd say other than recursives yeah. would have to be that corner that you're sitting in mm -hmm. um unless you uh, uh, yeah you have here. the full view but sometimes you can have barriers that spawn or cover mm -hmm. that spawns there and that's why if anyone has ever watched me play, you see me destroy the cover yeah. as they are spawning in as quick as I can and then deal with the Sosigs. Or I kill the Sosigs and casually like pop some rounds at the cover and wear it down over mm -hmm. time before the encryption spawns. So then you can have a perfect view of that area because sometimes three yeah. stealths could spawn there and you can wipe out all of those if you line them all up and then take out the one that's to your left. It's just a great sight line to have to just be sitting in that corner. Now, there is one little problem when it comes to the recursives. But it's such a slight problem. When so, you get one down here and it's facing away. If you get one down there and it's facing away and then you have two on the left side near that green hallway door. And then you're like, Egh. Yeah, that could be terrible. But th that's the thing about this room. It could be either really good or really iffy. That it, mm -hmm. It's not like really bad, it's just iffy. It doesn't usually kill your score. It doesn't usually, yeah, exactly. And that's kind of the nicest thing about this room. Honestly, yeah, it's overall a great point room to have. Um, hold one, relatively easy hold. Honestly, the, the problem is is that it's too easy, so it, it feels like a waste, essentially. Yeah. It's like, oh no, I could have just done this in hold four or something. Yeah. Or hold two. I mean, even hold two, it's a little bit of a waste. I don't know. It, it's, it's weird to say that it's a waste of a room for score because yeah i don't know but i i think you guys get what i mean is that I, I this like room is teal. too good i, yeah, like I teal love teal. A higher higher number hold i i would say that this is my first s personally yeah this is this is the honestly comfiest room in hallways it's the comfiest room in hallways you can absolutely optimize your score so well with this um especially for fourth hold it honestly is the best fourth hold you can have if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can have green room, but no way, dude. Fourth hold for this room, you could get Susa kills right away. Definitely a first S tier. No doubt about that. Yep. It's the best room it could possibly be for scoring high. Um, so that's, yeah, amazing. All right. We're um, T hallway. So T hallway. T. Yeah. Um... How do you even work this hallway? Because I just run around with it like a chicken with my head cut off. Like, maybe all so, of you look in this guy, and then these guys, and then those guys. And... So I've seen people I have, hold here. That's not a bad spot, because you could take out the guy in front of you, and then take out the guy to your right, and then the left. Or you could take out front, left, and behind you. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, for surviving, that's not bad. Um, there is another one that I did, I think. Actually, you know what? I just realized. It's actually on the other side of that cover. Oh, oh no, 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 not that one. No, no, the cover that you're at. Literally on the other side. I deal with the guy right there first. This guy? And then I... Yeah, yeah, the guy's over there, and then I move to my left. And then I clear left and right. Or I clear right first as clear I'm right hugging first. that wall. Yeah. So Maybe. then you don't expose yourself to both ways. Unless if you look very quickly. But yeah, that's usually where I go when I'm playing one hit is right here. This is where I play one hit and survive usually. It's not bad because the problem with this room is that there's three different sight lines where the encryptions can spawn. And that's yeah. the scariest thing. Honestly, oh, wait, let me check something. 
What are the hold locations for this one? Or the hold numbers? Uh, T hallway. So yeah, this thing for hold one. This room for hold one. It's nice to get out of the way, I guess, for hold one. Yeah. Um, T hallway. Yeah, yeah. It can also come in hold two. Um, yeah, hold two. I guess you can if you're playing normal or normal health. You could sit in that in the middle of the T and just yeah, just right. Yeah, here. I guess that's really it. Um, we do have our one, invisible two. stealths here and here. Yes, which is a problem. And that's why I was going to say this hold is primarily in hold 5. This 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 area? Yeah. It's always usually hold 5. There's there's two spots in hold 5. Mm -hmm. Um and that's and it doesn't a, feel great to have to fight against the breacher boys in here. I don't know what no, it is. No, it does not. No, it doesn't. Something about the, it. The stealths you have to double take probably a few times to yeah. find. This is a very um, stressful hold, hold, I feel it, like. It's a pretty bad hold, honestly. It, it, the Sosigs don't take time getting stuck. I don't think they really get stuck, do they? Do they get no. stuck at that one area? Yeah, no. no, they don't. They don't get stuck anywhere. They spawn and they run right in. So that's kind of nice about this room, but mm -hmm. the thing is is that it's so open. There's so many different sight lines that you have to be. If you, ha you want to get a reliable not even a reliable sightline on the encryptions you have to be at the base of that t yep. and even then you're missing some of the some of the stealths that spawn behind those arches once again those arches are just enemies of the state dude they're enemies <laughs> of the country nobody likes them uh Honestly, presidente putter is putting them all in in uh in prison yeah no definitely i would arrest those on site they're they honestly yeah, those things are the only thing preventing me from standing on top of a barrier and being head level with a with an encryption. It's kind of tragic. I agree. But yeah. So honestly, this hold, I it's kind of crazy. I can't really say that I see people holding. I, I mean, I guess I could say I see people hold the middle area yeah. right there, the it's base. A, it's a pretty fluid hold. Like I used to like stand here and like get these guys and then work down the hallway and then to the left. I don't know right. if it's like that great. Cause there's like, kind of multiple ways. You can get to... shot if there's no cover here. It's eh. I do, however, see people hold the the bottom of the T. Yeah, right the, straight in front of you. Like they go all the way by the laser wall and just hold it. Yeah, I think that's a little slow getting the guy around the corner. Exactly. And and I've seen people hold this a lot, so by the way. Bam. Oh no! Bam. You can't even peer into that. I don't think. You, c I think that cuts off, right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it cuts yeah, off right can... there. So you have to go here, and then here, and then work down. I think. Yeah, and that's the scary thing about this hole is that I see people actually sit there, like behind yeah. the one bit of cover. I mean, yeah, I guess they can if deal with can the two guys. You can clear fast enough to reset, but I feel like you can't. I feel like yeah. If you're on speed meet, you, you're not clearing fast enough. Once again, it's just a newbie. Uh, that's just a newbie spot I see some people hold. Um, yeah. After a while, I guess there's some kind of flow that you can get in this room. If it's for survival and one hit, of course, I'll hold that spot that I'm holding. Or that spot that you mentioned. So yep. Sometimes I do that too. But primarily that one spot right there is my go-to. Yeah. These two spots, um, those are the spots. Yeah. Those what are, are the vibes in tea room? I feel like the vibes in tea room are uh, high blood pressure. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely, especially for hold five. Oh God, yeah, is, it's not. It's is not. Is it fun. another F, or is there something redeeming it? Um. Well, the Sosics don't get stuck. That's true. They don't get stuck like light blue. They're, light blue. I don't know. I. I it's. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Honestly, I would probably put this in the D tier. Honestly. Sounds. I mean, as hectic legit. as it is, there are at least two spots that you can hold that are reliable that you could clockwork in mm -hmm. unlike light blue light blue yeah. has no clockworking essentially it's nope. just it's whenever they decide to come it's yeah so i'd say it's probably a d all right um, second to it would last. be a c if the encryptions were easier but yeah so second to last yellow hallway yellow hallway i think this so, was my first favorite your first favorite now yeah. funny enough i play this so much 
Yellow Hallway is the one Hold that I... Two on C date. Funny enough, Yellow Hallway is featured more than any of the other holds, believe it or not. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Never mind, it's only four times. I've typed in yellow, and I also had the other room <laughs> right. that was yellow also do the thing, but yeah. Okay, so this room is great. It's great for killing Sosigs, like, right off the bat. Honestly, there's so many places that you could survive in this area, it's mm -hmm. nuts. I don't think yeah. survival is the problem. If you're trying it's to survive, a problem, yeah. you're right here. Yeah, if you're trying to survive, you're in that back area. You take out the the, Boom, the dudes right in front of you, the and then you clear your left. Next guys come wandering forward. You kill them, and then you just pop around the corner here, take out those guys. But nothing can spawn here. I see a lot of new players, like when they, like their first few times. You learn pretty quick, but nothing can spawn here. So your back is completely covered if you're right here. Yeah, no, you just kind of perch up, and then it's you a very win. safe room. And the fact that it's also featured in hold four is also very good. This is honestly a good, good spot, good room yeah. for just killing Sosigs and surviving. And survival is not really a problem here. No, nope. honestly, it's there's only three ways that they can come. One of the, two of those ways funnel into one area that mm -hmm. you one sight line that you have to watch. Yeah, honestly, it's could, just an all around. Great... You could probably, honestly. You might be able to just hold here and like they'll come down the hallway eventually straight into your sight line you can yeah. this is like the the hold where you don't have to move your gun yeah no it's it legit is it's so safe um, you might have to do that you might have to move to get the encryptions but that's about it and the encryptions i'll get to that yep um but but uh yeah so what if you want score what if I want score? I would be I would be spawn killing these guys. Yeah. So essentially, I I'm here. And yeah, then I'm here. And if I hear them at the other area, on hold two, yeah. I would just rush over there and instantly kill them. Because you are kind of betting that you're gonna get the two out of three here. You could even play it safe and yeah, be in that corner right there. I, just wait. I have seen people hold here. You get a slower kill on these guys but you get a faster kill on these guys. Exactly. So if you don't want to take the two out of three and you kind of just want to average it out, here's fine too. So. Yeah, no, it's it's a great survival room. Sometimes they can get stuck, though. Sometimes. On that one corner. This point, one? Yeah. They kind so of trip over each other here. They're they going, trip uh, over uh, each other. With, they spawn. Sometimes if you accidentally drop a mag there before going into the room, this is the worst part. They'll stumble on the mag and constantly get aggroed by it, thinking that it's noise. <laughs> so you have to be very careful with that. Like I'm not kidding, that's happened before. I've mm -hmm. I've had I've recorded instances where I'm like genuinely actually getting frustrated over that. I was pissed <laughs> off that one day. I was like, Are you serious? Like it was it was a perfect run. I got the best weapons, and then oh, three of the Sosigs are just or two of the yeah two of the Sosigs yeah, just three. falling over each yeah. other there. Fuck, dude. It's like what the hell. <laughs> And then I believe, yeah, it's 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 an interesting hold. Um, also, the too, I believe the spawns are kind of weird sometimes because you can't see all of them in any given right. spot. You can have some over here. You can have this one. You can have these guys and those guys. And that's kind of a problem with this hold. This is the whole part that absolutely screws with me. But yeah. I I don't really look at it that bad at badly as a negative. The encryptions can be very fucked. Or, or shoot, sorry, blur that out. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you're sorry, you're gonna have to edit that out. Timestamp it at uh, 5:52 p.m. I don't mm -hmm. know if you have. Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, I say that because I've had very bad luck with the hardens in this room. Yeah. I'm gonna be very honest. The hardens can spawn all over the place. They can spawn all the way to the right in that corner yeah any of those yeah they just they just spawn everywhere if it if it's five hardens that are spawning in sometimes one can or two can spawn like right where you're standing yeah. and then two can spawn in that back corner that you could hold if you want to play safe and one can spawn there and you can't have a full sight line yeah on if, all you get, if you get three hardens sometimes you're happy they're like in a row here or like here and here and they're in a spot where you can but you if can, you get five you don't have hardens here you almost always have to move to shoot them all. And you probably won't complete it until the... Yeah, you probably won't complete it at a competitive time. You probably will, but it's still, like, pretty bad. Yeah. 
Like it's relatively bad. I don't know. It's but that that's, one's that's like I don't know. It's it's it could be random though because sometimes it could be really good. Once yeah. again, it could be really good, really bad. I, I mean, even if it is really bad, you can still probably clear it mm -hmm. at a competitive time. But, but it's it's a little bit harder. It can be easy to flub too. Exactly, the flubbing happens with me in this room. I don't know why, but yeah. So, but what are the vibes of Yellow Hallway? What are the vibes of Yellow Hallway? Um, so this room. Let me think. Honestly, I'd have to say. Let me look at the tier list. So I'm gonna be dead honest. It's either an A or a B for me. I think yeah. I think it's a B. Frustrating I think it's a B. sometimes, but it can't go the, further down. I I did love it so much as as a newbie player who didn't want to get shot in the back. Yeah, and the associate clearing is amazing. Like once again, it would be a pillar. It would be like pillars if if the sight line was like the encryption spawns were better. Yeah. Like honestly, I would make it a tier if the encryption spawns were better. Honestly. Because of just how easy it is to get Sosa kills. So right, we're on our final room. Now this room, yellow pit room, There's is crazy. Pit. Okay. So for those who don't know, there are only two entrances. One down that dark stairway, and one on this yeah in the blue hallway. Now, they spawn right behind that little bit of cover, too. Yeah, or like right there. They spawn right there. So he showed you both of the spawns. You don't have to worry about that little pit. There's a reason why this thing's called Yellow Pit Room. Because there's a pit. But nothing's really utilized with the pit. Which nope. I suppose is kind of a good thing. Unless if you're playing Zeke Zombie Hunter and you decide to hop on top of that little ledge there, he, the zombies can't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but yeah. So this room is crazy, and I'm going to be honest, like right off the bat, we usually go into where the best spot to survive is. The reason why this room, I'm going to be straight, just blatantly honest. The reason why this room is probably going to be S tier, just right off the bat, is because the fact that Yellow Pit has more enemies that spawn than any of the fifth holds, which can lead to more points. Yep. So... In the other holds, on on the fifth hold on spawn lock game mode, essentially only three Sosigs make their way in at three different entrances. Like, they're split apart at three different entrances every round. But in this hold, two spawn in at each entrance every time. It's guaranteed. So you'll be clearing four Sosigs super quick. Yeah, you can just run left and right. Yep. Kill them instantly and clear four Sosigs much faster than you would clearing three at any other of the fifth holds. Yep. Now, you can have this room early, too. Honestly, it's kind of, once again, it's a waste of a room, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> to have early, it kind of sucks. Yeah. But, but that's what makes this room already insane. Like, it's, why it's, it's my favorite. Why C8 is worth, like, 2,000 yes. more points than any other seed. Yes, exactly. And yeah, you can have this hold in third hold two times. Actually, now this hold is the one that actually is utilized the most, now that I realize it. It's almost on every hold twice, except uh, hold four. So now, how so, do you work yellow room? So, for sur it's, it's kind of strange, but for sur survivability, if you're playing one hit and you want to be safe, Sitting in that corner that Hoyt is standing in right now is perfect because you can you could peek here and then the you guys can there. wait for those guys to get up this dark stairway. Yep, and then blast them because if they're if they're in the middle of the dark stairs, they're really hard to see and you might not see them before they shoot you. Exactly. But if you just wait, if you just kill these guys and then chill, then like as soon as you hear them, they're going to be at the top of the stairs and they're an easy kill. Yeah, and then you just or, you just chill. I one hundred percent agree. It's definitely it, it, yeah. It's that's probably the best spot you can hold. I do, however, see Jedi hold a very interesting spot. He holds right there, 
Yeah, yeah, right there. So Where you can you get an instant sight line here, and then you can wait for them to come through here. Yeah. Yeah. But you're kind of at risk, especially if you're playing in one hit, because if they come at that sight line, what they can do is that they'll run past the sight line to the mm -hmm. right of that doorway. Oh yeah. And then they'll pre-fire you once they peek it. Yeah. Like yeah, so it's just yeah, it's so kind if of there's a like risk. cover here, you're not happy. Also, like you get one kill and then the second guy crouches down and then you're like, you know, trying to hit around. The yeah, cover. and it's it's just an interesting sp it's a it's an interesting spot. I mean, I see newbies also go to there too. Yeah, but I, I think Jedi sticks with it because Jedi likes to play stationary yeah. primarily. He likes so he likes I get his that. spots. Yeah, but he likes his I spots. I think for my money, it's this spot for survivability. But if you're playing score. What do you do? So when I play score, I typically usually wait at that blue hallway. Mm -hmm. um, and I essentially, I wait. So it's weird. I don't shoot the Sosigs right as they, right as I see them. I wait right. for them to just turn around that corner. So then if, just in case I, yeah, when, once I see both of them in view, I shoot the back one first and then the first one in front of them. And I only do that primarily because what ends up happening, if you shoot the first one right as he walks in, the other guy will crouch down behind that cover and stay there for a bit. Yep, and then he wastes your time. He, wait, he wastes your time, yeah. So you have to, usually I typically wait to see both of them. Yep. Now, that's only if it's on speed meet, though. On speed meet, yeah, I, I wait to see both of them. And then I immediately run, like instantly. I run straight yep. down here you probably and kill see those guys here. here -ish. Yeah, you kill you'll probably way down. you kill them on the way down, and then you can wait for the next wave of spawn. You could physically see them spawn. Yeah, right there, and, then you, bam, and bam. you can actually kill them both if you're quick. But if not, sometimes if you only hit the first guy, the other guy will get scared and he'll hide behind that little rock. Yeah, or that little, little doorway. So if so you're you have brave, to... you have to wait a couple seconds, and then he comes. Yeah, and, and then, then rush the other sides. So just like teal, you know you. You kill, you do one one way, and then you do it back the other way. Yeah. Or if, you could just or you could just go right and left, reload, right and left, reload, right mm -hmm. and left, reload. You could do that too. Yeah. Now, um, on, on seeds that aren't seed eight here, like if it's an earlier seed, I like to sit here and just listen. Yeah. Because you only that's... get one spawn on one side, so you just like, oh, that way? Yeah. Or that way? You know? This that's is my a, listening spot. It it does look like you're case. just staring at a wall for a while, which is kind of funny, but it yeah, works. yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with that. And yeah, no, that's pretty decent thing. Oh yeah, and then also too for fifth hold, this is the only hold on hold five where Subsig spawn with shields. Yeah, which is crazy for hold five. That's it's pretty wild. Um, they don't spawn with the breachers, but they spawn in the second wave or the second round of fifth hold, which is interesting. Now, not really an issue at this point, but yeah. Yeah, encryptions are kind of annoying here. Yes. Not gonna en lie. Encryptions are a problem. You got but... this one here, a yep. couple down there, and then a whole lot here. For the stealths, yes, the stealths are so finicky. I mean, even on the first hold, as well. Sometimes you can get five statics and have them all spawn in there, yeah. or have two of them spawn in there, and then one in a entire or one behind that little ledge right there. I don't know. It's it's just so weird. No, I know um, Ethium likes to stand here, and he can get an angle on that little corner one right here. Yeah, you could do that. Funny enough, I actually used to do that for the stealths, mm -hmm. but I started doing a technique for the stealths where I sit in that corner. Like once I clear the first two waves of the Sosigs for the stealth hold, I oh no, not that corner, the other one. This one? Uh, yeah, or the other one next to the pit. Yeah, there you go. I the sit corner. right here because with this, I can at least see all of the ones that are right mm -hmm. here you do have to be mindful of that light though there always usually is one that spawns there mm -hmm. but it always spawns in that exact spot if it does so i always just pre-fire it just in case and usually i hit it even if i don't see it 
Yeah. But um, you can learn it pretty well. You can wipe all the encryptions here. And what's so great about this is do that... Do you then, like, jump over this, or do you just... Oh, run? no, I just run straight for it. I run straight for it, and I pre-fire that, because I know for a fact that it's going to... The right, stealth is going to spawn one in one of three two. places. Yeah. Now, what's really crazy is that if you get lucky, all the stealths will just spawn right here. They, mm -hmm. they, they don't spawn in that room sometimes. There's a rare chance that they don't spawn in there. You can have seven that just spawn in this room. Mm -hmm. And you can laser. I've had the probably the best encryption time ever because of that from standing here. I can't really say I've had that with the other one, the spot that E-Team stands at. I used yeah. to stand there, but the problem is, is that kinda, sometimes... You're already betting that you're going to get one there. Well, also, too, you're betting... You also have to double take your right and left. You don't have a full sight line of the yeah. whole room of where the encryptions are going to spawn. With that other spot that I have, I can at least see all of them pop in and then guess where they are after I saw them once instantly and just start spraying them. Um, so, yeah, honestly, it's a pick your poison, I guess. Yeah, you could see into that room at least. It's pick your poison. I honestly prefer that corner for stealths. Uh, um, for agiles, agiles could be good or bad for this room. If you can get three agiles that spawn in that dark, that dark room, yeah. oh my god, you're golden. Mm -hmm. I only say that. And you could deal it. with those ones first, too, because they're faster, essentially. Mm -hmm. And then once the ones outside, like, after you're done dealing with those, by that time, the ones outside are going to be slower. So they should be easier to hit since they're, yeah, yeah. on the open. If you have a shotgun with number four and they're all out here in the yellow area, you can just sit in the corner and just number four all of them. Yeah. Like from a relatively good distance. Usually you can find some good distance. But once you know when the encryption is going to spawn. The, yeah. the encryption spawn time is pretty tight for this one, actually. There isn't that much randomness to this one. It usually always spawns after like 30 seconds. And I, I always I always test this too with the, uh, the power dogs. Like when I use a power up the second that the Sosik starts spawning in for that speed meet round. Mm-hmm. By the time it ends, usually five to ten seconds afterwards, the encryption the encryption spawns. I believe that this, yeah, this, yeah, that second hold lasts for like forty seconds. If people who are more advanced understand what I'm talking about, but and that's kind of what that whole thing is for. But yeah, so agiles could be easy. They could also be bad depending on if you don't do well. Oh, can you leave that up light on? Thanks. All right, see ya. I'm um, sorry, my roommate was leaving. That's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, so essentially, it could, yeah, it could be, yeah, the encryptions could be pretty annoying. Um, sometimes the regenerative too on fifth hold. You can get good luck though. You, you can, can get, get good really luck. Good luck. You can get really good luck and have it all spawn in like a corner. <laughs> yeah. Or sometimes it gets spawned in the middle and the tendrils just go fucking. Or, oh, sorry. Second yeah, they upward. just go everywhere. They go everywhere. They go everywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's not so it's not fun. How do um, we feel about the vibes, though? Oh, S tier, right away. S tier, right I mean, away. Yellow I mean, Pits joining Teal. Yes, for sure. I mean, honestly, okay. It's the same reason why Teal's in its spot, honestly. It's the best possible scoring room. Mm -hmm. Teal is honestly the best hold four scoring room. Like, there's no doubt about that. It's the best way to score for hold four. The yellow pit is the best way to score for hold five. There's no other room like it yeah. that is insane. Yeah, the encryptions might be finicky here and there, but... But it's fast. I, it, yeah, you it's fast. It you can fast. work around it pretty quick. Yeah. And you can sometimes even get lucky and have them all spawn in a pretty nice area. There's a lot of spawn points for this spot. But, yeah, no, that's honestly where I'm at uh, with this room. It has, it has to be S-tier just because of that Sosig, that extra Sosig that comes in and how fast you can kill them. All right. It's insane. Well, that's our final room. Yeah, that's our Do final room. Do you have any final thoughts? Um, honestly... I thought I might have given Orange Room a little too much credit. And that's kind of about it. That's kind of where I'm at. I feel like I might have given that one a little too much credit. I feel like my, yeah, my opinions are a little bit 
moving they're moving that one those one yeah they're moving orange room and j hallway around honestly those are the only two that i feel a little uncomfortable about placing there primarily okay. because i feel like it's more lenient towards how i f- personally feel about them that's fine <laughs> um yeah, those, yeah i'm gonna be it's all I'm, that's just a dis- that's just a disclaimer right there orange room and j hallway are completely biased from my end yeah. they could be biased for other people too maybe some people think that j hallway deserves to be an f maybe people think orange deserves a b and c or d i don't know but it's that's kind of up to you we, that those ones I feel are mostly subjective. The rest I kind of are. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They're silly all silly exercise. It is a silly exercise. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. Honestly, it's but, that, that's just what it is. Um, did you have anything to plug? No. Oh. You have a Twitch. You oh yeah, Twitch. I do have a Twitch. I do have a Twitch. Yeah. No, so I do. Yeah, I do have a Twitch. I do stream typically three times a week. Um. But sometimes life things get in the way, so I don't stream. But if I do, if I disappear, it's not because I'm gone. I, I yeah, I just have some life things that pop up right then it's and there. Because and you get the idea. Doing continual, unceasing uh, classic loadout, Lewis has finally put you in the loony bin. Yeah, that too. I have to go to the asylum here and there to get myself checked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I do have a Twitch where I just stream Taken Hold. I sometimes rarely stream other games. Um, sometimes I stream my filming progress on first tour stuff too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you can check me out at Butter My Pancakes uh, TTV. It's literally Butter My Pancakes, except the P and the B is switched around. Yep. Um, and then also too, I do have a YouTube, which is the same name, and that's where I am going to be posting some interesting, very maybe too edited content Ooh. that I've been working on for a while um, now. Watch that. Which space. involves that involves uh, classic. The classic loadout Lewis Tango, by the way. I've uh, montaged it all, and God. You also happen to run uh, First to Worst. Yeah, oh, that's right. You could also check out First to Worst. Sorry, I don't know why you have to remind me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, I guess I'm a little hungry, and I'm like thinking about that. Nobody but, ever likes promoting their stuff on my channel. They're like, nah, yeah, I got sorry. nothing. And I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but... <laughs> No, I, I usually, I don't know, the first to worst stuff, yeah, we have first to worst, honestly. Um, honestly, we're probably going to, we might go over this again, the next first to worst. We might bring up this tier list, if I'm going to be honest. But, oh, wait, actually, you know what, the next first to worst isn't going to be on the map. Oh, oh I yeah. spoiled that. Oopsies. New, new um, map. Hopefully, <laughs> some of the lessons transfer over. Yeah, Get so a leg hopefully. up. But yeah, make sure to check out First to Worst. Um, we do our Discord is actually featured on the Steam store page of H3VR. So if if you guys, yeah, you can find us through there. You can find us on just Google usually it. Anton. Yeah, you could Google it. Anton sometimes puts stuff in his description. He sometimes talks about us, tells us to or tells people to check out the link that you put in the description so yeah. honestly I, I would recommend you check it out it's probably the best place to learn to play take and hold yeah and um I, i'm not kidding when i say when i put it in the description like hey come get some come get some training i will personally train you i have any excuse to talk about h3 vr uh i i will take it yeah i yeah <laughs> exactly there's yeah that's there's a lot of people it's like amazing. You, so there's a lot of people yeah there's a lot of people like you who will want to make people better and honestly and we have we have we have yearly tournaments and every tournament i feel like people will get better every they time do. the score every threshold time. just keeps on dro- getting higher and higher mm-hmm. so definitely yeah definitely check out first to worst if you want to participate in one of these tournaments keep an eye out in the discord um we usually like to keep every ping in that discord um related to when the next tournament is going to be yep so that that's why there's not really that many pings unless if there's like an update so or anton might need help actually anton has requested that he might need to ping people to test out something that yeah. are that's taken old side so i don't know if you want to test stuff for anton too um that's also a good spot to yeah. just Maybe chill out and be for there. The, yeah exactly but so um i think that's it yeah that's about it thank right. thank you hoy for having me oh, yeah. Hoyt. Yeah, thank you uh i've uh thanks for watching hoyt's points i've been hoyt 
And I'm Putter. And have a nice day. Yeah, have a great day, guys. Stay healthy.